KNDY. All right, take two. Let's try this one. Battling some cell coverage issues over here at Seneca, Nemo Hall Central High School, where Marysville has opened up a 4 0 lead on St. Mary's. Cool play continuing in the Thunder Classic, and Jack Lauer misses a shot. Brooke Williams pulls down the board. Brett Williams missed a shot from the far side. 4 0 Marysville. We're just underway, the second of three games here in the Thunder Classic tonight. Driving toward the hoop, Keller Furl is tripped up, knocked out of bounds, no foul whistle. Bulldogs take a loose ball down the floor and are forced out of bounds in front of the St. Mary's bench. Jack Lauer, Willow Tot, Sanders Zetterman, Rick and Rook Williams, the starting five for Marysville, Brady Hurla, Kaysen Gomez, Keller Hurla, Nate Hutley, and Josh Deiter for St. Mary's. 9-1 Marysville, 6-4 St. Mary's meeting a first time this season. Brett Williams, soft touch, 10-footer off the left baseline, is up and good for a 6-0 Marysville lead. Bears basketball, they're left to right. Near side wing to Payson Gomez. Brady Hurla crossing underneath. Far side shot, Keller Hurla, his cousin. Shot off the rim, doesn't fall. Lauer rebound, it's a tie-up. Lauer and Gomez on the jump ball whistle. Let me take a peek here. All right. Studio engineer Allison said we're on the air, so we'll see if we can stay there. Bulldog basketball, early 6-0 lead. Glad to have you along on a Thursday night tip-off. Williams to Williams, uh, the intended lob to the lane, intercepted by Josh Dyker. Bears bring it down the floor. They're scoreless as yet. We're at 5-15 and counting. Far side, Gomez to the forecourt. Deiter near side, Brady Hurla. Long layup past Willow Tott. He was fouled. Oh, Tott's first. Team's first. Brings Brady Hurla, 5-11 sophomore to the line. First time tonight. Two teams victorious in first round play. St. Mary's took Hiawatha 72-55 on Monday. Marysville beat Hiawatha 49-38 on Tuesday. Hurla miss. Uh, second shot coming. Not a bad crowd, but they're absolutely silent at the moment. Hurla off the top of the rim. High for the board of Sanders Utterman. And we're three minutes in. Marysville 16. Mary's nothing. Jack Lauer rolling Nate Hotley out in the floor court. No foul whistle. Lauer will take it to the hoop for two. 8-0 Marysville lead. Josh Deiter starting close in the fourth quarter. It's man-to-man pressure. Zutterman on Hurla on the far side. Keller Hurla with the ball. Foul on Sanders. Zutterman's going to be his first team the second. Nemo Hall Central victorious in the earlier game today over Jackson Heights, 51-27. Leaves a single game behind us yet tonight in pool play. Turnover, Bulldog basketball, middle of the first quarter. 8-0 Marysville lead. Hornutter passes coming near side. Sander hands to a top. Rook Williams pass to the lane. Finally found after a few tips by his brother Rhett. Coming short to the hoop for two. Uh, Rhett Williams second scores 10-0 Marysville. St. Mary's scoreless. We're almost four minutes in. Brady Hurlett dribble behind the back. Just below the free throw line. Shot up front of the rim doesn't go. Rooks down with the board. No top to Lauer. Crossing far side to Rook. Comes across the lane. Sander wide open in the corner. Off the iron, doesn't fall. Tracked down by Rhett Williams. Bulldogs keep it in play. They'll have a size advantage tonight, going 6-4, 6-4 on the Williams twins. 6-2, 6-2. St. Mary's biggest at 6-3, then they drop 6-1, 6 foot. Early substitutions, Thomas Barron, 6-foot senior in the Marysville lineup. And the St. Mary sends a substitution in. Let me track down Zach Summers, a 6-1 freshman. 
basket for the Bulldogs as St. Mary's takes time out with 3.45 to play here in the first. Marysville 12, St. Mary's nothing. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh-as-new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. Bulldog basketball, a service of our key Indy Y sports boosters. We're on air online and on our mobile app. Thursday night tip after a win Tuesday. And finals coming up on Saturday. St. Mary's yet to score, trailing 12 nothing. They took the timeout. We've got 335 remaining first quarter. Aaron pass in the four-court track down near midcourt by Josh Deiter. Deiter with a pass intercepted by Willow Tott. On the transition, Jack Lauer hit a two defenders. Easy layup converts. Lauer with the score. 14-0 MHS. Jack was top scorer, 20 points in the win over Hiawatha. Only Bulldog in double figures Tuesday. Pass almost knocked away. Nice save by Keller Hurla. Takes it to the paint. Meets two defenders. Ball knocked away by a hustling Thomas Behrens. Tip to Brady Hurla in the fourth court. He'll challenge Behrens and Sutterman beneath the basket. Sander tried to take the charge. Instead picks up his second personal. Here comes Rhett Williams, starter back in the Marysville lineup. Devin Tomer, a 6'4 senior, seeing his first action. A rotation off the St. Mary's bench as well as Howie Rezax, a 6'3 sophomore, checking in. They lost a lot of seniors off the team last year that took second in Class 2A. Free throw for Brady Hurl is good. That is St. Mary's first score with 2.57 to play in the first. Marysville defense has been mightily impressive in recent games. Hurla's second look, it's good. And it's 14-2 as the Bears are on the board. Offering up full court pressure with Lauer and O'Tot in the backcourt. Barron's at midcourt, foul from behind by Keithan Gomez. It's his first. Team fouls even up three apiece. Marysville 14, St. Mary's 2. Otot far sideline. Brooke from the corner. Thomas in the forecourt. Brooke off the wing. Near side Otot. Crossing the free throw line. Takes man-to-man pressure along. Guarded by Brady Hurla. Out of the near side. Lauer to the lane. Spins a 360. Plays a bounce pass through traffic. Got tipped back his way. He dives to the floor, can't get the handle on it. Zach Summers comes away with possession. To Brady Hurla, rimming out for a three. Fight for the return. It's Willow Tot amidst a scramble. Perimeter passes. Bulldogs right to left here in Seneca. Otot, three in and out. No good. Keller Hurla with the board. And we're six minutes in, St. Mary's scoreless from the field. Settling for two of four free throws. Here's Keller Hurla taking Rook Williams to the lane. Nice job defensively avoiding the foul, negating the basket. Otot calls the play. Far side of Rook holds it high. Defenders stay inside the arc. Lauer top of the key. Barron's on the near side. Otot, far side of Lauer. Will Otot to the free throw line, then comes back out. Near side to Rook. Williams on the dribble. 
challenges defenders, splits two, meets a third, lost his dribble in the lane, and the Bears take it away. Inside a minute remains here in the opening eight, 14-2 NHS. Perla far side to Gomez. Started close by Barons. Coming near the lane, nothing doing. Keller Hurla, just below the free throw line, backs up half a step. He was fouled on the shot, missing. A pair of free throws coming. That's Rick Williams' first, team's fourth. Bringing Keller Hurla to the line, first time tonight. Again, opposite our broadcast, girls' semifinals from Washington County. Max is live on FM 95.5. Free throws good. Play a rotation here. 42 seconds remaining. Perla hands on his hips. Awaits the basketball. And a second look on the way. High arch. Rims out. Doesn't fall. Kevin Tomer, just in the Marysville lineup, pulls down his first board. Bulldogs can play out the clock if they want. Just over a half minute and counting. A comfortable 14-3 double-digit lead. Williams twins to the near side. Find Otan. Top of the key to Rook. So reminds me a lot of rest. He'll take it off the far wing. Ball is knocked away. Otot grabs it back. We're under 10. Otot left of the lane. Cross court pass to Rhett Williams. Started close. Tries to get the ball away and does from the corner. Managing a shot off after Keller Hermas tied him up. Williams missing at the buzzer. End of eight. It's Marysville 14, St. Mary's 3. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's JD Construction. At United Bank and Trust, we get it. Bank hours don't always fit into your schedule. With the United Bank and Trust mobile banking app, you can bank anytime, anywhere. At home, at work, or anywhere in between, you can perform convenient and secure transactions like mobile check deposit, transfer money between accounts, or see your balance instantly. Find it by searching for United Bank and Trust mobile app in your app store. Mobile banking with United Bank and Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. What we have recently titled a smothering Marysville defense holds St. Mary's scoreless from the field in the first eight minutes of the ball game. One quarter in the books, Marysville leading 14-3. Bears back inbounds in front of the bench near side. Keller Hurla driving the lane. Foul whistle across the way. Under Classic pool play continues tonight. Day three, our second night here. Quick substitution is Devin Tomer. He is back in the Marysville lineup for Rook Williams. Bears a high pass for court to Josh Deiter. Dribbles twice. Brings Brady Hurla out top. Far side to Keller Hurla. Crossing the lane. Layup off the front of the rim doesn't go. Rick Williams with the board. Double team, far side, tied up on a reach in. They are really getting after Rip Williams. Tied him up on a last second shot before the buzzer from the corner. And a reach in results in a jump ball. Whistle Bulldogs retain possession. Just underway, second cue. Red and black by 11. Otop takes it far side. Backs away from Brady Hurla. 
Bounce pass to Lauer, baseline. Spins, plays to Tomer in the paint. He traveled with it, coming into the pass. Bulldog turnover. Well, the season so far for St. Mary's. They beat Hiawatha 72-55 earlier this week. Pool play on Monday. Wins over Rossville, Riley County, Wabunsi. A loss to Wamego back from the Christmas break. Marysville took Wamego Friday. Lost to Silver Lake. Wins over Rock Creek and Mission Valley. A loss to North Central and Oldby to start the season for St. Mary's 6 and 4. Rebuilding from a second place finish last year in the 2A state tournament. Bulldogs take the basketball, leading 14 3, 6.45 to play. First half. Marysville season with a single loss. First road trip, second game of the year at Sabetha. Here's Jack Lauer driving left side, brings a couple defenders along and is fouled by Keller Hurley. It's his, his first 15 foul, is five both ways. Outside the Sabetha blemish, Marysville's currently ranked eighth in boys 3A. Sabetha's ranked second. Lauer from the corner, shot missing. Foul on the rebound attempt. A very physical ball game. This is Howie Rezac first. Sanders Zetterman, Bulldog starter, back in the lineup. Checks in for Tomer. Pass to the forecourt. Barons in the lane. Jarrett Williams. Takes it right side, long three. Flat off the rim, doesn't fall. Keller Hurler rebound. Bears have yet to score a field goal. We're 10 minutes in. Hurler, shot denied, blocked by Rick Williams. Bulldogs take it the other way. A long three for Lauer was flat off the back of the rim. And yet another contact foul inside. That's Rick Williams. His first. Both teams going to bonus on the next whistle. Sanders out. Tomer's in. A St. Mary's team that rolled out 72 points in pool play here Monday. Yet to score a field goal tonight. Brett Williams knocked it away. Had to hurdle a player playing on the floor and lost control back to St. Mary's. Keller Hurla driving from the far side. He's fouled coming to the lane. Jack Lowers first. And we're in the bonus. For Keller Hurla, one for two tonight. Nate Cutley, a junior starter, is back in the Bears lineup. little miscue or miscommunication there. Sander wanted to check in for Tomer. Hurla had the ball. It kind of sat at a buzzer. Sutterman waved it off. And then Hurla was out of position, so they're giving him a restart. On the end one. It's good. Four points have been free throws. That's it for St. Mary's. Second shot's good. I mentioned 72 on Monday. They had 58 against Rossville, then 60-plus their previous three games here in January. So they have an offensive punch. It has just been camped down by the Bulldog defense here. Jack Lauer, two steps off the arc. Far side, rims high. Keller Hurla with the board. Plays on the transition to Nate Putley just back in the lineup. He missed cutting underneath from the left side. Bulldogs take it back, leading the nine. Sutter, no-look lob underneath, intended for Barons, was tipped out of bounds by Furlock. Now five minutes to play, first half. It's 14-5 MHS. Joined us late. It's been the Bulldogs all the way. 
underneath. Willow Tuck, hard fought shot, guarded close by Brady Hurla. He's tagged with a foul. And Otot can turn this into an old-fashioned three. Tomer back in for Zutterman. Scott Brown keeping him guessing as to who's out there on the floor for MHS. Bulldogs first trip to the line here with 4.55 remaining first half. Bouncing high off the rim, doesn't fall. Rezac, his first four. Bulldogs back by 11, matching their biggest lead thus far. St. Mary's still looking for a field goal. Long layup through traffic by Brady Hurla doesn't fall. As much as anything, they're looking for foul whistles, challenging the lane there, and they're getting it. Otak, his second, is the eighth team foul. Here's Howie Rezac at the line. He was not the shooter, so it'll be a one-on-one, right? Sander and Tomer trade places again. Middle of the second quarter, second of three games here tonight. Rezac, a sophomore reserve at the line. It's good. Nothing but net. Arched up in the rafters. Glad to have you with us tonight. Bulldog basketball, a service of our key NDY sports boosters and regional sports boosters. Rezac, second look. This one too strong off the back of the rim. Otop brings it down the floor, far sideline. Sanders, bounce pass in the corner. was intercepted by Deiter. Now St. Mary's getting the chances, but still without a field goal, and that'll be in 12 minutes of play here coming up. Long three, Keller Hurler rims off, doesn't fall. Stick back underneath, doesn't want to go for Howie Rezac, and Sanders Shutterman takes it for the Bulldogs. Lauer, baseline, overcame a couple defenders with an off-balance hook. It's good for a score. And with 4.03 remaining first half, it's Marysville 18, St. Mary's 6, Bulldog timeout. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Get away with a shopping day at Reflections Hallmark. Beautiful home decor pieces, scented candles, last-minute gift ideas for any reason, plus Hallmark cards, as well as fabulous boutique clothing and accessories. For yourself, for your home, for someone else, shop Reflections Hallmark in downtown Marysville. And remember, they do custom picture framing with lots of frames and matting choices. You're always welcome. Thanks for shopping local. Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. When we consider a loan application, we also take into consideration a person's character. We don't just run a bunch of numbers in a computer and call it a credit score. People are more than numbers. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage Counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. St. Mary's still cannot buy a bucket. Brady Herma, best look they've had yet, comes in the lane with a left-handed layup that jumps back out of the rim. It's 18-6 Marysville. Make it 21-6 Marysville on a Jack Lauer tray. First long ball for either team. 3-10 to play here in the first half. Brady Herma crossing the lane, far corner to Nate Putley. Heard a foul whistle down below. 
next one's going to put us in the double bonus. Put St. Mary's in the double D. Devin Tomer's first. Otan Zutterman back in. And a lot of player rotation for Scott Brown. Going seven deep here tonight. And we re-Zach hit a free throw earlier. Sophomore reserve. Puts the high arch through the net. Just over three minutes to play. First half at the half. We'll talk about other teams in action tonight and this week, as well as pairings for the Hiawatha Girls Tournament. Marysville tips off their Tuesday nights. Rezac, second shot, missed. Bounced all the way back to the forecourt where there were three bears to handily bring it down. Keller Hurla, way out there at center circle. Bounced off the rim, why not? Can't get a bucket anyway. Might as well go low. Marysville down the floor with a 14-point advantage. Their biggest. Zutterman, top of the key to Lauer. Kind of pushes two defenders away. Now that'll be kind of hurl out top. Zutterman, far side, it will top. Back to Sander on the near wing. Oh, top, top of the key. Looking, looking baseline, turns it back out front instead. Here's Rep Williams. Pitch to Sander. Wills in the forecourt, Jack on the near side. Bounce pass to Thomas on the baseline. Barons to Lauer in the corner. Shot rims off, doesn't fall. Hasting Gomez down with the board. Listed at 6'3", he's their big man. Brady Hurla missing a long three. Lauer with the board. Now a minute 45 to play in a quick first half. Traveling whistle on Sanders Zutterman. Colton Schotty, six foot senior, checks in seeing his first action. He's number eight off the bench, along with reserve Dylan Tomer. Bears with the ball, still looking for that first field goal. Will they go the entire half? No. Driving the lane, Keller Hurla finally got a layup to fall. Their first field goal with a minute and a half to play, first half. It's 21-9. His shotty on the near side. Lauer in the forecourt. Really dangerous pass through traffic. Didn't find Tomer, found out of bounds instead. St. Mary's offense ready to roll now. Got that first field goal on the books. And here's Keller Hurlick challenging Lauer to the lane. Fakes, passes far side. Out of the corner is Deiter. Off the far side, Keller Curly shot doesn't draw iron. Barons brings it down. We've got 50 seconds left in the half, but I don't know if they'll work all that time off. Bulldogs have led all the way. Rep Williams can to move underneath, but he had defenders in the neighborhood. Doesn't fall. Gomez comes away. Brady Hurla missed a layup at the base of the rim. Barons with a half minute to play. Gives off to Lauer. Tomer near the free throw line. Far side of Rhett. Holds it to his hip. Challenging Gomez to come out with defense. Rhett Williams, forecourt. We're under 10. Here's Lauer in the forecourt. Jack for three. It's good. Lauer's second tray here tonight. He's got a dozen points as the buzzer sounds at the half. Boys pool play at the Thunder Classic from Nemo Hall Central High School here in Seneca tonight. Marysville 24, St. Mary's 9. Napa know-how. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories, plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price, plus Napa know-how. 
From your locally owned and locally operated Napa Parts Store in Marysville, Enans Automotive. Napa know-how. Your farm is your life, and it's been that way for generations. Protect what you've worked so hard to build with the generations of success of State Farm and Agent John Bannister. No one can tailor coverage to meet the needs of your farm like John can. Contact State Farm Agent John Bannister, 1022 Broadway in Marysville today for a quote or more information. When you roller, send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center. A family business for several generations, let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. Kickhafer and Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kickhafer, Kent Bussing, or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kickhafer and Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. Kickhafer and Bussing, where quality begins. Yet that just happened. Marysville's defense holding St. Mary's, a 6-4 and four team, mind you, holding St. Mary's to a single field goal in the first half. Six points. The other, the other four points were free throws. They're four, six to free throw line. Now nah, somehow that math didn't work out. All right, let's reset on that. But a single field goal is where I wanted to go with the headline because that is certainly been the pace of the ball game. As Marysville jumped to a 14-3 first quarter lead, outscored them 10-6 in that second quarter run. Jack Lauer leads all scorers with 12. Rhett Williams had eight early on. Willow Tott and Rook Williams with two apiece. Nothing off the bench. Scott Brown's gone eight deep in the first half. Marysville 14 in the first, 10 in the second, first half total of 24. Scoring has been sparse and scattered for St. Mary's. Keller Herla has four points, including their only field goal, a layup with a minute and a half left to play in the first half. Brady Herla, pair of free throws. Howie Rezac off the bench with a pair of free throws. Three points in the first, six points in the second, first half total of nine. 24-9, Marysville leading St. Mary's. Pool play continuing here in Seneca from the Thunder Classic. More on our halftime show after this timeout. With United Bank & Trust Online Banking, you have access to your hometown bank 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year at ubankonline.com. You can view account balances, access statements, and transfer money between your UBT accounts. You can also view account activity, pay bills, and even make loan payments without being limited by banking hours. Simply visit ubankonline.com to learn more. Online banking with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend crop system and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. 
take the worry out of ordering and refilling your propane tanks with Kramer Oil. Great people to work with. Their family has been serving your family since 1976. Customize your account with delivery and automatic refill, prepaid discount, or level billing options available. Hard work, integrity, and dedication to the community are hallmarks that Kramer Oil lives by and promise to deliver for you. Join the family today with a phone call to Kramer Oil in Marysville. Find them online at KramerOil.com. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. Atchison and St. Mary's Academy warming up. That'll be the nightcap in pool play here as Marysville boys lead St. Mary's 24-9 and host Needle Hall Central dispatched Jackson Heights earlier tonight 51-27. Pool play on Tuesday. Atchison ran away from Jackson Heights 74-21. Marysville outlasted Hiawatha 49-38. St. Mary's Academy took Nemo Hall Central 53-39. And in the single game Monday, St. Mary's over Hiawatha 72-55. Finals on Saturday will be at 3, 4.30, and 6. If Marysville wins tonight, they'll play in the late game at 6, I will assume. We'll confirm all that, and we will have the broadcast on Saturday. be a matter of 14 high school games, three college games in the books this week. As we catch our breath during tournament week, Max Blasky's Mike side with the girls' semifinals in the Twin Valley Lake Tournament. It's live on FM 95.5 from Washington County tonight. Back with three boys' games beginning at 4.45 tomorrow afternoon, also on our sister station. Again, coming back here for the finals with Marysville on Saturday. Then we head to Hiawatha with the Marysville girls on Tuesday. They host host Hiawatha in a six-team tournament. Uh, beginning at 7.30 on Tuesday. We'll have those games Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday live from the Roundhouse. Keep you up to date. Scores and updates, brackets, etc. on our website, kndyradio.com, and all of our social media outlets as well. Here at the half, it's Marysville 24, St. Mary's 9. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon and Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon and Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Well, I mentioned plenty of basketball. I want to wish the Marysville wrestlers best of luck in the Beloit Invitational this Friday and Saturday. Marysville hosted the Jayhusker. The team placed seventh. Four Marysville Bulldogs in the top four finishers. 
at the Jay Husker on Saturday. Got to behave tonight. I'm sitting by the superintendent, Darren Schrader, kind of out in the bleachers tonight with the Marysville fans. Fun atmosphere. Pretty good crowd on the road for Marysville. Had a lot of interest in this boys' basketball team. Again, they were ranked eighth as of last week. I didn't check the coaches' poll if we moved up this week. Class 3A. And looking very much like a state-ranked team, they lead St. Mary's here 24-9. St. Mary's a 2A team, took second in the state tournament last year. Won the first two ball games, the double digits, then fell to Hillsborough in the championship. And they get their second field goal of the evening. It's Keller Herma coming in right side for a long layup of the score. He's got six of their 11 points, including both field goals. In the first half, that didn't come until a minute 30 left. Will Otak splits two, defenders to the hoop for two. Otak second score, nice looking layup by the only underclassman starter for the red and black. Ten seniors on this ball club this year. Brady Hurla layup over defenders missed. And the Bulldogs bring it back, leading 26-11. We're underway second half. Otak's layup this time in the paint doesn't fall. Bears are right to left in their road blue, trimmed in white. Long three for Keller. Herma's good. He comes out with ambition. Back-to-back scores for Keller Herma. That's their first long ball tonight. Trims the lead to a dozen. Lauer, low on the baseline. Double pumps over Keller Herma. Shot doesn't fall. Brady pulls it down. Not giving Marysville a lot of second looks tonight. We'll get the occasional offensive board, but not a lot. Rook Williams picks up a foul. It's his third. Bulldogs sent them to the double bonus in the first half. They shot 11 free throws. Hit six of those. A miss here for Kaysen Gomez, his first trip to the line tonight. Thomas Behrens checks in early on, second half. Gomez for the free throw. 26-15, St. Mary's coming out with a whole different look here in the second half. Will Spratling said something at intermission. Defense coming out Side the arc on Barron's far side. Brett to Lauer in the forecourt. Brett's out top. All blue jerseys in the lane. Oh, top far side was fouled coming past Keller Herma. It's going to be his second. Not quite two minutes into the second half. Marysville 28, St. Mary's 13. Turning left baseline. Brett Williams challenging Ethan Gomez. And the ball tipped out of bounds. Bulldogs baseline. Brett Williams underneath for the jam. He took a step past his defender and he goes above the rim as he did on Tuesday. Delighting the crowd, it's 30-13. Three out of the corner by Keller Hurla, trying to slow things down a little bit, or at least change the tempo. Doesn't buy it, Thomas got the rebound. Sander, guarded on the layup, was fouled. Has a couple of free throws coming. In what has been a very physical ball game, now with over 20 team fouls combined. Gomez picks up his second. Sanders Zetterman's at the line. The only starter who hasn't scored as yet can change that here. And it's good. You didn't want to call that early. It looked like it was going to jump away. Now official time out here at the scorer's bench. Sorting out something. And a lengthy discussion continues as they bring the coaches over. Let's sneak in a timeout. Sanders Zetterman coming with a free throw when we come back. 
Intention in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities. And apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville, an equal opportunity employer. And we'll pay the bills while they visit. They seem satisfied. Zetterman free throw is short. Barron's rebound. Kicks it out near side to Rhett Williams. Hands to Lauer. A lob underneath to Barron's. Double pump. Shot's good for Thomas Barron. Nice assist on the look from Lauer. And it's 33-15. 5-20 remains third quarter. Bulldogs led 14-3 at the end of one. 24-9 at the half. Near side, Gomez. Keller Hurley in the forecourt. Brady Hurley turning off the free throw line in the paint. Drew a couple defenders his way. Snuck a pass around the defender to Nate Putley for the score. 33-17. Lauer finds Zetterman. Near side baseline. Lob underneath the Barons. Guarded. Putley knocks it down. Bears have knocked down three field goals here in the second half after scoring just one late in the first half. And the rest were free throws. Play in the paint. Josh Deiter doing battle as Barron's reaches in, goes to the court. Then a couple of Bulldogs. This is Hutterman and Rhett Williams tangle with a defender. Marysville winds up after a very physical grapple on the floor with the ball, taking it down the floor to Jack Lauer, who's fouled underneath by Keller Herla. That's number three. Lauer's at the line first time tonight. Bulldogs have only shot a couple of free throws. And it's good. Double digits, 13 points for Lauer, who had 20 in the win over Hiawatha Tuesday. 23 in the win at Womiga last Friday. Lauer to extend the lead. Does just that. It's 35-17, middle of a third. 4-5 and counting. Brady in the forecourt, top side. Guarded by Rep. Keller, top of the key, play in the paint. Nothing doing for Hutley. Keller off the wing. Keller Herma for three. His second tray. Unguarded. He's got 12 points. Eight of those since halftime. It's 35-20. 3.35 to go. Lauer checks right baseline. Rhett Williams wide open three. Jumps off the heel of the rim, but Lauer grabs the board. Bulldogs keep it in play for a second look. Oh, top, far side. Scoots underneath. Handcuffed by Brady Hurla. He was fouled. That's his second. Marysville, 9-1. and one. Only lost game two of the season at Sabetha. Sabetha's ranked number two in top 10-3A. Marysville's number eight. St. Mary's comes in tonight, 6-4. and four. Oh, top with a free throw. Tomer in the Marysville lineup, giving Lauer a breather. Second shot rims off. Keller Perlo with the rebound. 16-point affair. Keller challenges Spillane. Comes to the near side to Summers. Zach Summers, a reserve, went cross-court. Offensive foul results in a St. Mary's turnover. Nate Putley, whistle for his first. Lauer and Rook Williams back in the Bulldog lineup. More player rotation tonight than we saw Tuesday. We're under three minutes. 16-point Bulldog lead. Lowers out front, man-to-man deep. 
Williams to Williams. Rap to the paint. Turns to shoot for two. Had a couple defenders, but they did not challenge Rep Williams now with a dozen points tonight. And it's 38-20. Brady Hurlock follows the screen around the far side. Pass to the lanes intercepted by Rook Williams. Coming down the court, one on two. Missed a layup, and he was fouled. Contact just at the last instant. By Zach Summers, his first. And it's six St. Mary's team fouls. Marysville's been whistled once. There's Rook Williams at the line first time tonight. Miss. Josh Deiter, senior starters, back in for the Bears. They start three seniors, a junior and a sophomore. Lost several seniors off that second place 2A team last year to graduation. Brooks' second free throw is good. Well, Totten Zutterman back in the Bulldog lineup. 19-point Bulldog advantage with 2.24 to play here in the third. Atchison, St. Mary's Academy in the game following. Pool A and Pool B winners will square off Saturday. We'll talk more about that. Here's a swipe for Marysville's Rhett Williams. Passing around near side to Rhett. Rattle the cage, wouldn't fall. Out of bounds to MHS. Yeah, we can sort out a lot of scenarios, but uh, basically if you win here tonight, you're in the driver's seat. I would assume be a 6 o'clock tip-off Saturday. Turn around in the lane for Rhett doesn't fall. Taken down by Rizak. You know, St. Mary showed more life here in the second half than they had the entire first half. Will Spradling calls timeout with a buck 51 left. In the third, it's Marysville 39, St. Mary's 20. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. Brady Hurla challenging a host of Bulldog defenders underneath. Missed a layup. It's 39-20 Bulldogs with a minute 35 to play. Third quarter. Otot coming to the lane. Near side of Rett. Sander in the forecourt, back to Rep Williams, near side. Turning in the lane, stun again the other way. Shot doesn't fall. Fight for the rebound, Otot in the thick of it as it's swiped by Brady Hurla. Now the two teams are scrapping, to say the least. Here's Keller Hurla, stumbling, tumbling into the lane for the score. He has four or five second-half field goals, five of six here tonight for the Bears. On the board, 39-22. Play underneath the Sanders Zutterman had a clean block, tip out of bounds by Summers. Marysville up 15 at the half, leads by 17 now. Inbounds baseline. Rhett to Rook out top. Otak. Look in the lane. Near side to Sander. Crossing out front, back to Otot in the forecourt. Will, a lob through traffic, finds Sander. Kick in the corner, Otot, back up front to Rhett Williams. Wide open, long three, fly off the rim. Lauer with the board, double pumps over a defender for two. Jack Lauer, great athleticism, 16 points tonight. Extends the lead to 19, we're under 20 seconds. 
Brady on the dribble. Near side. Top side to Keller. Coming around, Rhett Williams was fouled. His second, team second here in the half. Bears from baseline with eight seconds and change. Far side to Somers. Out top, Keller Hurla. We're under five. Keller Hurla beats defenders in the lane. Takes it to the hoop for two. Twelve points for Keller Hurla in that third quarter. He's got 16 of their 24 points tonight. After three, Marysville leading St. Mary's 41-24. The Nordis Motor Company in Marysville has a brand new 2023 Chevy Equinox LT. In on trade, a 2018 Toyota RAV4, a 2017 Jeep Renegade, and a 2014 Chevy Captiva. Check these vehicles out and arrange for a test drive at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and Corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. If you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Willow Tot from the near side corner. Three-point shot rims out. Sanders, Zetterman's way up in the rafters for the rebound. It's Rhett Williams again on a three missing, and it's Otot high for the board this time. Foul whistled as the clock stops with 7.36 remaining in the ball game. A Jack Lauer foul is his second, team's third. Marysville 41, St. Mary's 24. Bulldogs by 11, into the first, led by 15 at the half. Outscored St. Mary's by two, leading by 17 points, coming down to the fourth. Here's Keller Hurla. Had all but three of their points in a 15-point third quarter, and he is fouled. Rook Williams picks up his fourth. Well, I missed all the games going on this week. I failed to mention Marysville girls host Nemo Hall Central tomorrow night. Lady Thunderer State rank. It'll be a JV and varsity matchup only on the girls' side in the Marysville Junior Senior High Activity Center. Keller Hurla free throw is good. I'm going to take the night off and do the MCAC fundraiser to support a good organization and a good cause, so... We'll not have a standalone game for the Marysville girls tomorrow night or the Marysville boys the week following. We encourage you to come and support them. Hurley's second free throw is good. He has been the point producer for the St. Mary's team. Managing only a single field goal in the first half that came with a minute and a half left on the clock. Jack Lauer getting pressure from Keller Hurla. Way out deep in the forecourt. They're moving that defense, man-to-man pressure out further. Otot, far side, turns it out in the corner. Zutterman in the lane, splits defenders, underhanded layup. He was fouled. A pair of free throws coming for Zutterman. Josh Deiter picks up his first, seventh team foul. St. Mary's at six and four. Both these teams handled Hiawatha first round play this week. Monday and Tuesday nights. Tuesday, the other games, Atchison, a runaway winner over Jackson Heights. Nemo Hall Central fell to St. Mary's Academy. Sander missing. 
Earlier tonight, Nemo Hall Central over Jackson Heights, 51-27. Atchison, St. Mary's Academy in the late game tonight. Sanders' second look, strong off the back of the rim. Rezac pulls it down. 15-point affair here. Keller Hurla through traffic, out the basket. At the moment, he's unstoppable. He wasn't even defended coming through traffic. Lauer splits defenders, does the same thing at the other end. Jack Lauer lays it in. He's got 18 points. Timeout on the floor, Marysville. With 6.31 remaining, it's Marysville 43, St. Mary's 28. Come work for a stable, family-owned company. Landall Company, starting their 60th year in business, is hiring for welders in the Waterville and Marysville facilities. Wages depend on well test and experience and start at $16.80 to $21.95 per hour. Ten hours overtime per week, Monday through Friday, $2 per hour shift differential, and 4% attendance bonus. Lots of earning potential plus extensive benefit plan. Apply online at Landall.com or contact their Human Resource Department, 785-562-5381. EEO, Vets and Disability, welcome. RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year. With RX Drug Store. Pack with black tonight. A lot of Bulldog fans made the short trek over this direction. Pool play on Saturday starts at 3 with games at 4.30 and 6. We'll be here with the Bulldogs. 43-28, Marysville. Led 14-3 at the end of 8, 24-9 at the half. Showing good man-to-man defense all night long. Here's Keller Hurla out top. He's the man you've got to stop, and he goes to the lane, this time missing. Rebounds down to Barron's. 20 points for Keller Hurla. 16 of them in the second half. 16 of their 19 second half points. How's that for a one-man show? Lowers fouled in the lane by Summers, his second. Lauer two for two earlier tonight. Shoots a pair here with 6.07 remaining. It's good. Marysville nine and one. Haven't lost since the second game of the season, early December. Hard to believe we're over a month and a half in here. Reluctantly, the second free throw falls, and it's 45-28. St. Mary's a respectable six and four. Keller Hurla far side. They're paying more attention to him. Lauer guarding. Goes cross court. Pass to Somers. Brady Hurla in the lane. Hook shots good for Brady Hurla's first field goal. It's 45-30. Their losses this year to Walmigo by five. First game back after the Christmas break. Lost to Silver Lake. And then in the season openers, Olpe and North, Nima Hall Central. One of three teams in the 17 tournament with a winning record. They're seated third. Here's Rex Williams meeting a couple defenders on the baseline. Brady Hurlis whistled his third. Going in the double bonus after this. It's a one-on-one for Rhett Williams at the moment. Fourth quarter got it crawling along with the fouls and free throws. It's good. Very reluctant again. But they all count the same, right? Second free throws up and good. Count the bonus. Brooke Williams back in with 5.18 left. It's Marysville 47, St. Mary's 30. Doc Scott Brown briefly after the win over Hiawatha Tuesday. Convincing win 49-38, but he wasn't especially pleased. 
saw a lot of things this team needs to work on. The Scott Brown standard bar is up there, I'll tell you that. There's a reason this team's 9-1. and one. Brady Hurla, long three, count at far sideline. Brady Hurla's second score from the field. And it's 47-33. Leads down to 14 for what it's worth. Flower just standing there, eye to eye with Keller Hurla. Now plays to Otot. On the dribble, far sideline. Brings Lauer between the rings. Clock continues to roll. Lauer coming around defenders, taking it to the hoop. Lightning fast. Jack Lauer got off quick. He's got 22 points. Bulldogs by 16 with 4.10 left. Brady Hurl, an underhand layup. Miss. Tie up or a foul? It was tie up. And our share of jump balls tonight indicates how tough the two teams are fighting. Inbounds, near side, fake by Keller Herba, comes left side, backdoor look, doesn't fall. Rebound tipped, out of bounds off MHS. Kind of surprised uh, Rhett Williams couldn't hang on. Appreciate the hospitality here at Nemo Hall Central High School. We've been in this boys' tournament for as long as I can remember. 40-plus years still in the Bulldogs. That's a memory that kind of fades from time to time. So Jerry Odom, longtime athletic director, been retired recent years here at Seneca. Nemo Hall Central used to be Nemo Hall Valley. Took the Central when they consolidated it with B&B Baileyville. St. Benedict. A foul out for Brady Hurla just after he knocked out his first two field goals of the night. He fouls out with 340 remaining and finishes with seven points here tonight. Time on the floor. Again, 340 left. Marysville 49, St. Mary's 33. Make every job easier with one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. For any project inside or out, if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, get the tools you need, including Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, and more. Battery-operated tools offer the convenience and mobility with the power to get the job done quickly every time. Stocked with all the blades, bits, and accessories for your convenience as well. Check out the Power Tools selection today and get the work started on your schedule with Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. To be successful in agriculture today, you need to have all your ducks in a row. We can help you do that. Our ag lenders know their business and they're local. They can work with you to establish the loans and lines of credit you need to get the job done. Because we make our decisions locally, we give quick service on loans. Stop by, see us, and get all your ducks in a row. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Will Spradling engages a full court press, doesn't slow down the Marysville attack. Scott Brown does when they come down the floor the other way. He slowed down the offense. Lauer missed a shot underneath. Here's a miss far side corner by Kaysen Gomez. Under three minutes remaining, Marysville leads St. Mary's 49-33. On a collision, Willow Tot is fouled by Rezac, his second. We are in the double bonus. With Bulldog Basketball tonight, a service of our Sports Booster Club members, tell them thanks for their continued support. We'll be back on Saturday. At this point, assuming a 6 o'clock affair, but I'll confirm it for you later tonight. Our top free throw is good. Josh Deiter, a starter back in the Bears lineup. They were down 14-3 into the first quarter at their first field goal just before halftime. Free throw good. 
trailing at the point, 24-9. Here it's Marysville 51, St. Mary's 33. Aaron's back in for Zutterman. He's trying to finish this up. The Bulldogs would run their record at 10-1. Atchison looks to be the favorite in the other pool. They won their second game in the tournament tonight, both in convincing fashion. Challenging three defenders, Keller Hurla is fouled by Jack Lauer. That's on his third. Yeah, Atchison beat uh, Jackson Heights Tuesday by over 50 points. They play St. Mary's Academy in the nightcap here. Rezac scrambling on the court with Otot on a reach-in for the jump ball whistle. Zutterman back in for the Bulldogs. Rezac for St. Mary's. Tossing a towel out on the floor. Twin Valley League play continues on our sister station, FM 95.5. Max Blasky going west. I'm headed east. He's got the girls' semifinals tonight, boys tomorrow night. Championships on Saturday. College action, too. Kansas and Kansas State. Saturday afternoon affairs. Too bad they played a Tuesday night tip-off. Scott and I talked about that. That's, you know, high school night. Sunflower State showdown. Early game on a Tuesday. Just didn't seem right. 2.15, clock running as Otot scoots underneath. Far side to Sander. Hands to Otot, coming past. Taking the clock under two minutes with Marysville leading 51-33. 18-point Bulldog lead. Otot checks down low. Far side wing to Rook. Otot comes out top to Rhett. Four senior starters, 10 seniors on this ball club. Playing the paint, direct Williams over a defender, missed that defender. Howie Rezac gets the rebound. With a minute 35 to play. Keller Hurla, right side of the lane. He was fouled. Jack Lauer's fourth, that is team foul number six. We're not quite in a bonus. Scott Brown reminds him, Jack, you got four. High score for the Bulldogs, but I just Jack Lauer. Been for the last couple of games. Had a slow start, though, in the month of January. Keller Hurla hits the base of the net on a long sideline three, and there's a minute 15 remaining. Seems a painfully long fourth quarter here. Haven't we been at this for a long, long time? Marysville top seed in this Thunder Classic. Pretty much playing keep away now. Clock rolls under a minute. Rook in the corner to his brother Rhett. Had trouble grabbing it. Does get a handle on it and spins for the basket. Rhett Williams with 16 tonight. Wholesale substitutions will come in for Scott Brown. Not before Keller Hurlant lays in another layup. He will be the story offensively for the Bears. Player substitution timeout. Let's get some names and numbers in here. Colton Shotty's back in. He played earlier. Jake Dankenbrink's a senior reserve. Nathan Fisher's a senior reserve. Devin Tomer saw minutes earlier. And who we got in the corner down here? I'm missing one. Ah, there we are, Thomas Ferens. Long three is up for Nathan Fisher. Doesn't draw iron. Underneath Ferens on a reverse. Doesn't fall. Still another shot. Doesn't drop for Colton Shotty. And there's a collision underneath, leaving just 12 seconds on the clock. Third personal on Rezac brings Barons to the line. Well, much of this second five will be the core for next year's team. But I say much. What is that going to be? Two or three of these players are underclassmen? 
Barron's free throw was good. He can extend the lead to 20. Missing. Tomer with the rebound, stepped out on the baseline. Now with 11 seconds left, St. Mary's will fall tonight to 6-5, and five, while Marysville will improve to 10-1. and one. Keller Hurla again underneath, this time tries to give the ball away, lost it to Barons. That's the ball game, and our final, Marysville 54, St. Mary's 35. Save money and get free stuff. Seriously, download the CJ Go app before you fill up next time and earn exclusive deals and rewards. Earn points with every fill up and redeem those points for dollars off your purchase. Download the CJ Go app and use it at all CJ Express locations. Join, shop, and save with CJ Express in Marysville and Frankfurt. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page or at gwblaw.net. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Three, two, one. Did the new year bring new devices in your home? You might want to increase your internet speed. If you up your speed this month, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months to kick off 2023. New Blue Valley internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Marysville 10 and 1 on the season. 1 8 straight. Looking very much like the top seed here again tonight. 54 35 over St. Mary's. Holding them to a single field goal plus free throws in the first half. They had nine points in the first half. Marysville led 24 9 at the intermission. Never looked back. Outscored them all four quarters. Led by Jack Lauer with 22 points. Rhett Williams in double figures with 16. Willow Top drops in seven. Rook Williams scoring three, and Sanders Utterman gets a free throw. Thomas Barron's off the bench with three. St. Mary's led by Keller Hurla with 22 points. 18 of those came in the second half. 22 for Keller Hurla. Brady Hurla, his cousin, had seven. Nate Putley, two points. Kaysen Gomez with a free throw. Howie Rezac off the bench with two points. St. Mary's with a loss falling to 6-5. and five. Marysville improves to 10-1. and one. They're ranked top 10 3A. Marysville 54, St. Mary's 35, final tonight. As Nima Hall Central took Jackson Heights earlier, 51-27, Atchison will meet St. Mary's Academy in the late game here tonight. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. 
Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Marysville boys again victorious tonight, 54-35, defeat Hiawatha Tuesday in pool play. St. Mary's here tonight, and we'll come back for the finals on Saturday. We'll assume the 6 o'clock game, and we'll confirm it, and we'll be here with the live coverage on the KNDY AM 1570 FM 94.1, KNDYradio.com, Sunflower State Radio, and all of our social media outlets as well. And we survived. Had a little trouble getting hooked up here tonight, but we didn't miss much. Pulled out a big win. Marysville girls are at home hosting Nemo Hall Central tomorrow night, JV and Varsity Affair. We will not have that broadcast. We will be on the road, Marysville, at Hiawatha versus the Lady Red Hawks Tuesday night in the Hiawatha Girls Invitational. And the Marysville wrestlers head to Beloit tomorrow. They're in the Beloit Invitational Friday and Saturday. Good luck there. We've got continuing coverage with the late game tonight from the girls' semifinals in the Twin Valley League Tournament at Washington County. Boys' semis tomorrow night in the championship rounds on Saturday on FM 95.5. Of course, you can catch all the score updates on the Farm Bureau Insurance Score Board Show twice game nights on KNDY at a service of Rice Leonard in Washington, Patrick Booty in Marysville, your local Farm Bureau Insurance agents. Our final tonight, 54-35, Marysville wins over St. Mary's. Bruce Deerking saying thanks to our Sports Booster Club and regional sports boosters for their continued support. Thanks for listening and have a great evening, everyone. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from KNDY.